Senators, I'm ashamed to be an American. Too many of our citizens are ignorant. Our Western pioneers devote a lot more of their time to gunfire than to knowledge. If we want our young republic to become a great world power, Americans must have educations. But unfortunately, our wild west is short of schools. Senators, let us work to replace pistols with pencils and shotguns with chalkboards. What? But carry your guns is an American tradition. You can't go hunting with a chalkboard. Senator Smith, Senator Wesson, you out of order. Silence, please. And now then, please continue, Senator Upgrade. Senators, I ask you to vote for my AAA resolution. The AAA stands for Advancing America's Academics. Like swift swallows heralding the arrival of a new intellectual springtime in our land, a flock of eager educators will fan out to every remote corner of this great country. These courageous teachers will go forward in the name of knowledge. Upright, steadfast, and incorruptible, they will advance steadily and relentlessly toward the attainment of their noble goal. Which is to establish schools and bring learning to the ignorant people of the West. Well, well, here's a good omen for my mission. Vultur Rustica, the graceful, flesh-eating denizen of the Western sky, is welcoming me to... Welcome to Arizona, Tenderfoot. <laughs> Reach for the sky, city slicker. I don't grant quick block or else we'll plug you and then you'll regret it. My dear sir, your syntax is utterly deplorable and your logic is appalling. How can one regret anything after one's demise? He's right, Carl. Let's face it, you don't talk so good. What kind of tax is a syntax? I'll write a complaint which you can take to the nearest sheriff. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to have to confiscate your weapons. <laughs> but jump over, we're gonna confiscate your cash. And I got a good mind to drag you behind my horse for a few miles. Teach you how to talk more respect for lag. Hands up, you varmints. You were lucky, mister. These three thugs might easily have gunned you down. Now, now, it's obvious that they're the unfortunate victims of an inadequate education. They deserve more pity than blame. Huh? Something tells me you haven't been in the West very long, Mr... Irvin Strait, educator! Your good deed has earned you a brownie point. Surname, given name... Luke. Lucky. Well then, Luke Lucky, take it from me. Enlightened dialogue and a sound education are better weapons against violence than the fastest six-shooter. Where are you going? To Raw Gulch! There's a school to be built and a town to be educated! I don't think a teacher will be welcome in Raw Gulch. It's the nastiest town in Arizona, run by a gang of desperados. <laughs> <laughs> Even the worst, the slimiest, the very lowest dregs of humanity are entitled to have the beacon of knowledge shine upon them! Five, four, three, two, one. We can't leave him alone. Yeah! Once again, he's getting us mixed up in something that's none of our business. Any man who's crazy enough to want to educate a town full of crooks deserves some respect, sympathy, and help. Hey! I'm coming with you. I'll turn these thugs over to the sheriff of Raw Gulch. We belong to Joking Jim Potbelly's game. And I'm warning you, when he hears what you did to us, he ain't gonna be too happy. The expression ain't is grammatically incorrect. You should always say isn't. I'll have the sheriff set you some grammar exercises in your cell. Stranger has been written with an E-N, the words here and have are both misspelled, and the word beautiful has simply been mutilated. How shocking! It's a good thing I've arrived. The townsfolk are clearly living in terror. That's a telling symptom of their ignorance. Sheriff, I have some guests for you. Hey, open up, will you? It's time to do your job. What do you want here, strangers? You just passing through? This ain't a tourist stop, it's sheriff's office. We're closed from noon till midnight and from midnight to Today, you're having an open house. Oh, but, but those are Jim Potbelly's men. What do you want me to do? Your duty, throw them in the pokey. 
a slang term for jail. Whoa, around here, we don't lock men up just like that. We got laws. Serve charge against these three. How about armed robbery and attempted homicide? And bad grammar and atrocious syntax. Hang on a second. Do you got proof? We wouldn't want no miscarriage of justice, especially not with three upstanding citizens like these. <laughs> it's like you said, this is a mismarriage of justice. We ain't done nothing, Wilbur. You know us. They're the ones who started the trouble, honest. That makes three witnesses you've come forward against your two witnesses, and I can't say as I find your testimony very creditful. Creditful? Who's a bull? No testimony can be credible like mine or deceitful like those of your crooked friends. Hey, watch it. Or you're the one who'll end up in jail for insulting a lawman like in the case of me. As in my case. Not yours, mine. Sheriff, that star on your chest is the symbol of your duties. The good people of Raw Gulch are counting on you to defend law and order to make their town safe. Set the prisoners free! Set the prisoners free! Set the prisoners free! Set the prisoners free! Those three men are criminals and you know it. Who are you scared of? We ain't scared of nobody, but we don't want trouble with Joe and Jim Potbelly. Good citizens of Raw Gulch, I am Irvin Strait, your schoolmaster. Can anyone name this country? Come, come, don't tell me no one recognizes this country. Uh, could it be America, mayhaps? Mayhaps is not a word. Say maybe or perhaps. Tell me, what's your name? Uh, it's Smith, sir. Well, my dear Smith, you are looking at the United States of America. This vast land takes up a small fraction of the American continent, made up of South and Central America and our own North America, which we share with our friendly neighbors Mexico to the South and Canada to the North. Now then, I trust someone among you can tell me who discovered America. It was You people know nothing! And that's why you let yourselves be terrorized by crooks like this pot belly! Ignorance is the source of fear, and the only way to fight ignorance is education! Is there some place where I can hold classes until we get a school built? I can see there isn't a moment to lose. Well, uh, not really, no. Uh, there ain't no place that's free, except the saloon, which is usually empty because the saloon keeper waters down his lemonade. Oh, that's it, the saloon. It'll make a fine schoolhouse. What? But that ain't what saloons are for. Folks, you heard the sheriff. Who exercises local authority, even if his grammar is somewhat shaky? The saloon will be your school, huh? There ain't gonna be no teaching in the saloon! Hot belly! There ain't gonna be no teaching at all! The only law around here is me! And I don't like school one bit! In fact, I stopped going years ago! <laughs> I don't see you two fellas laughing! As a rule, the minute Joke and Jim Potbelly cracks a joke, folks start laughing. As a rule, I laugh when it's funny. Things are going to change around here. This town has languished for too long without the fortifying tonic of education, but tomorrow will be the first day of school. Wilbur, let my boys go. I wouldn't want them to miss the lynching of two humorless strangers. Hurry up! From now on, the only law around here is the law. Those three thugs are staying in jail, and sooner or later you'll join them, joking Jim Potbelly. Oh. <sighs> I'll be back. And if I hear any of you went to school, you'll get a dose of lead, and it won't be from a pencil. <laughs> That wasn't a joke, it was a threat. <laughs> a pathetic hollow threat which won't stop the quest for knowledge. <laughs> Further left? No, that's too much. There, you get ten out of ten. A school in a saloon? This gives new meaning to the expression thirst for knowledge. Excellent! My school is now ready to receive its students. Children will come in the morning and parents in the afternoon. That way the youngsters will be able to help their elders with their homework. I'll expect the first batch of pupils right after lunch. Mr. Potbelly ain't gonna like this! If we want to keep the town folks scared of us, we gotta get rid of those two troublemakers. The one with the glasses is the really dangerous one. Narf, 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 I'm not narf, joking, narf. you blockheads! With all this highfalutin' talk, he'll give people ideas. We gotta frighten him silly so he leaves town and never comes back. Hmm? I 
can't start the class without any students. It's probably just the first day jitters. Everybody is required to go to school! I'm going to start handing out detention! How's about I go round up the student body? Seems to me I'm kind of old to be going to school. I can't let you off without a note from your children. I'd like to welcome you all to school. On your expectant faces, I see the desire to learn, a desire I shall strive to satisfy. To begin with, I'd like to know more about you. I've placed a sheet of paper in front of each of you. I want you to write your family name, given name, your age, and the professions of your parents. Something wrong? Yeah, my name's Elmer McGillicuddy. I don't know when I was born, I don't know how to read, and I don't know how to write, neither. Apart from your schoolmate McGillicuddy, is there anyone else who cannot read or write? Somebody has to carve all those names into the gravestones. Sir, I don't know how to read or write, but I do know how to count. No, you don't. You're always shortchanging us when we buy our drinks. I've brought you a latecomer. Wilbur, I don't approve of tardiness. I want 200 lines as soon as you learn to write. Sit at the front where I can see you. Oh, brother, I'm starting to hate school already. <laughs> While the sheriff's getting an education, I'll guard the three prisoners. Everyone has to go to school, Mr. Luke. That includes you and the three prisoners. Mr. Street, I know how to read and write, and those crooks are potentially dangerous. What is the capital of Uzbekistan? How many sides are in a dodecahedron? When can you use a comma before a subordinate prepositional clause? You see, you still have a great deal to learn. Now sit down. You have to set an example. If you don't help me, my job will be harder. You'll be a wonderful role model for those who continue to have doubts about the value of learning and who cling to the deluded belief that the best way to solve a problem is with a gun. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, if you guys don't quit cackling, I'll fill you with lead. Mr. Luke, hand over that gun. But sir, I was only joking. You can have it back after class. Oh. And you'll write this sentence 200 times. I must not threaten my schoolmates with a firearm, even if they are outlaws. What? Everyone respects you. If you refuse, my authority over the class is finished. <laughs> School or jail, take your pick. I'll take jail, please! Are you the author of this note, young man? I know, it's my boss who wrote it! Well, he ought to be ashamed. The spelling is dreadful. The word skunk is written with a C. The word you has been spelled Y-O-O. -O. Then he's had the gall to write school with a K, and he's left out the A in dead. I give this note a zero. You tell your illiterate boss that he needs to study harder! Zero? He dares give me a zero? No one has ever given a zero to Joke and Jim Popbelly. That troublesome teacher will turn the whole town against me. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't cracking a joke, you knuckleheads. I'm gonna shoot me some zeros in that teacher's jacket. Uh, I ain't sure, boss. Was that a joke? <laughs> Don't make no mistakes, Luke, or you'll get the dumps cap tomorrow. <laughs> Keep your yaps shut. Copy out the alphabet 15 times before bed. Johnny, you go home and stay out of trouble, you hear? To your desks, everyone. The adult class is about to begin. We are now going to learn about the verb to say. In the present tense, it is written as follows. I say... Mr. McGillicuddy, can you tell me what comes after I say? Uh, she would. I say, you say, he says, we say, you say, they say. All right, who played that prank? Give it up, Hot Belly. No more homework, no more books, no more teachers' dirty looks. This is getting kind of tiresome. Mr. Luke, I'm going to have to confiscate all firearms in the vicinity of this school. But, Professor, you got to be kidding. Hand it over, Mr. Luke. 
This is crazy. If I'm disarmed, the school will be at the mercy of... Violence never solves anything. True authority works by setting an example. Potbelly, the time has come to put an end to this most regrettable situation. I couldn't agree more. I'll start by putting an end to the teacher. <laughs> that was a joke, you nitwits! <laughs> Ain't this funny? Hysterical. Hey, what's going on? What are you doing, boss? I'm training for the two-song tap dancing marathon, you idiot! <laughs> I'll let it go this time. A train leaves St. Louis on September 15th at 2 p.m., scheduled to arrive in Carson City September 21st at 7 p.m. It undergoes 45 robberies, lasting an average of half an hour each, plus 20 minutes to clear the track. If the schedule allows for two and a half days of delay, we'll be the time sir, of the train's actual me. arrival. I want your answers tomorrow. And now I must go provide instruction to the mothers of large families. I look forward to reading your term paper on the decline of American heroes. Five, five times, times one is five. Five, 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 five times two is ten. Five, five times three is fifteen. To have a chance of beating Lucky Luke, I'm going to need all my men. We got to bust Art, Buck, and Carl out of jail. <laughs> Lucky Luke! Lucky Luke! Oh, what, what is it? The schoolmaster's been kidnapped! We were alone in the saloon, and he was giving me some extra tutoring when Potbelly suddenly showed up with his gang. They grabbed Mr. Straight and ski daddled. <laughs> yeah, I watched them go, Luke. They were heading for the river of no return. <laughs> hmm. By the way, you ought to wash your face before you ride to the rescue. <laughs> Strange, those thugs didn't even bother to hide their tracks. Whoa! Help! Help! Straight! <laughs> Mr. Luke, would you be kind enough to do something? And fast! I can't keep this up much longer! Be ready! For what? <laughs> 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 that water was extremely chilly. I don't get it. Instead of simply shooting, you potbelly staged this whole thing. It came from Raw Gulch. <laughs> Turns out your kidnapping was just a diversion. A very cold diversion. <laughs> and your three pupils are playing hooky. Too bad. They were making progress. <laughs> Now that he's got his whole gang back, Potbelly will definitely try something. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Luke. You sick? Indeed I am. I'm afraid my nocturnal swim has left me without a voice. Better cancel today's class, then. The class must go on. You'll teach for me until I get my voice back. Me? Are you kidding? I'm perfectly serious. You're the only person in town who possesses enough knowledge to teach in my place. What a promotion. Yesterday you wanted me to be a pupil, and now I'm a teacher. But I have one important favor to ask. When you're teaching the class, don't wear your six-shooter. Promise me you won't. <laughs> <laughs> Quit copying or I'll get you at recess. But I wasn't copying. Oh, no. On question two, I wrote I don't know and you wrote me neither. That don't prove nothing. If you written I know, I'd have still written me neither, even though it was the other way around, which means I wasn't copying. <clears throat> Welcome to class. Your teacher is sick today and I'll be a substitute. Uh, on your expectorant faces, I see the desire to learn, a learning I shall, uh... Satisfied as drive. He should have been a stand-up comic. I'll start with the day's first lesson, which is... Uh, well, um, 
<laughs> geometry. No, uh, sorry, I mean geography. As you can all see, uh, the world is round. <gasps> Here's another interesting fact. The North Pole lies to the north and the South Pole lies to the south. Must have taken someone years to figure that out. According to nature's wise design, all the world's rivers flow out to the sea. Slow down, sir. You're going faster than I can ride. But I think I should point out to you that the real world does not have a stand. Oh, no? Next. Stay in your seats, boys and girls. It was thoughtful of you to leave your gun at the door, Luke. Now I can be sure that I'll come first on the pop quiz. <laughs> <laughs> when Joking Jim Potbelly cracks a joke, everybody laughs! I'm sorry, Mr. Potbelly, but the folks of this town are educated now, and we don't feel like laughing at your foolish jokes any longer. Right. Now that we have some learning, we realize that we've had enough of you and your lousy men and your even lousier jokes. <laughs> Mr. Straight, your students have learned a lot about courage. Yes, and Mr. Potbelly has learned a valuable lesson, too, though he still needs plenty of educating. <sighs> Let's continue. Cheaters? Cheaters never prosper. Good. Honesty? Honesty is the best policy. Keep working, varmints. I want my new jail prettier than an old one. And when it's done, you're going to build a fine school. Cry, Buttbelly? Crime doesn't pay. You've changed this town, Straight. And I have you to thank for that, Mr. Luke. Without your help, without you, I'd never... Mr. Luke? <laughs> <laughs>